All right, everybody. Uh, go check. Everything looks to be working. It says I'm live. It says I'm not uh, dropping any frames. Can I get a radio check? Chat over. I'm on this like radio kick because I uh, bought a software defined radio. I've been like really interested in ham since I was a kid, but I never really got too much into it. Then I got a Bofang and and now I got this software defined radio so I could turn my uh, desktop computer here into a basically, I guess, a ham radio receiver. But I digress. We're all here to to uh, I was going to kick us off with uh, a theme song. This music is so fitting. This is actually isn't the 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 video. So let me uh, I, I don't know if this is going to be a long stream. Uh, tonight but it will be uh pretty enlightening um if you have any history at all uh peeping on calabash digger's channel you'll know that uh that calabash digger prides himself that there's no hoodoo voodoo going on here because he doesn't sell you nothing calabash digger sells you nothing let me end this poll uh two votes yeah well the, the eyes have it uh Calabash Digger's watching. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Calabash, tune in. So if you've watched Calabash for any period of time, you know that Calabash Digger has prided himself that there's no hoodoo voodoo going on. So before I, I expose Calabash Digger's hoodoo voodoo, all right, I want to uh, preface this with, there's a theory. I forget there's a, actually a name for it. Um, it's like a legal theory. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get bogged down by the name, but basically it, it's, it's, it's sort of a, a, a theory taught in, in like, I don't know if it's law school. I read up on it one time, but basically if you are a demonstrated liar, Hey, fun with dirt. How you doing? Good to see you too, James. Sorry. I didn't uh, say hi. I'm very, not very good at this yet. Um, I can't chew bubble gum and talk at the same time. Uh, but glad that you're here, fun with dirt. Glad that you're here, James, and, and whoever else is going or whoever else is here. Um, okay, so uh, we're back to Calabash. So back to this theory. There's a theory that if you are a, a liar in one regard, you're a liar in all regards. You can't be trusted. Um, uh, and, and I found that in my life to be, to be true uh, more times than not. If you are, have a demonstrated GW Cracker, how you doing, man? Good to see you. I saw your comment earlier, and I knew you were going to stop by. Um, we didn't get too far, so if you just got here, I'm just like prefacing this whole thing that uh, that that uh, with Calabash Digger, we're going to expose uh, something that he says he says there's no hoodoo voodoo going on back of his t-shirt and everything. Oh, by the way, here's the nugget for people that showed up early. If you want to hear something hilarious, uh, this is going to make uh, somebody big mad i filed a trademark uh application for every single way that you could spell hoodoo voodoo uh, and then when i get granted it i'm gonna start uh licensing and selling my own hoodoo voodoo t-shirts and i'm gonna own the trademark on it and uh we're gonna have some fun uh and i'm sure calabash is gonna watch this and if he wants to uh spend money and legal up and get ahead of that trademark have at it calabash uh it's your money but I'm grabbing that trademark. <laughs> I, I mentioned it in the video way back when. So I have a demonstrated uh, history of using it. Uh, but I'm totally going to repurpose that that uh, trademark. But anyway, so um, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. So Calabash Digger prides himself on the hoodoo voodoo. And I'll explain exactly what I mean in a minute in the legal theory or the theory. I don't even know it's legal, but I, I read on it. And I thought I thought I read it was taught in law schools. But if you're if you're untrustworthy in one regard your your trustworthiness is called into question in, in all regards it's like like women say you know like once a man's a cheater he's always a cheater a dog bites and gets a taste of blood they always uh got a taste for blood yeah kind of the same concept so um i'll show you in this video right here let's look at this video so in this video um if you guys haven't seen it Calabash decides that just like metal detectors, he's going to get into the scuba review business. And guess what? I found him posting the same stuff that he does in the metal detecting circles in scuba circles. 
he is uh he's in the scuba circle this is the best that's the best i got the best bcd i got the best regulator i got hey cw3 what's going on man uh glad you're here um but yeah calabash is uh he's getting into the scuba the game a piece of equipment that i have abused so now, let, you, yeah that's right i dive in a rough environment a i'll uh sit here and, and munch on something for a little bit for anyone that hadn't seen it i want to give a good preface and just go this will just be a couple minutes and and uh see what he's saying about this thing all right folks i want to show you guys a piece of equipment that i have abused now yeah that's right i dive that's in right. a rough environment a very hostile environment he dives in like five feet of water probably a little bit different than what most divers do but he's making it sound like he's diving different than what most to the bottom of the ocean floor to, to repair right <laughs> telecom cables Let's fast forward past this. Yeah, as you can see, it's muddy, silty, and uh, this is going to be a no bull crap review. This is who I am in the metal detecting world. No bull crap review. I am, but in the scuba world, not so many. But we're going to change that. Or we're going to change that. And this is what my channel is about. No, a man you can crap. trust. And this is exactly what you get right here. No who do. No who do voodoo. Do. Bull crap trying to sell you something. So when you come to my channel with a scuba gear, metal detector, scuba weapon. Now focus on that. Focus on that, gents. Calabash Digger is not trying to sell you nothing. That's going to be real important here. Whether it comes to scuba gear, you heard him say it out of his own mouth. My man just said he doesn't try to sell you nothing. Uh, that suits whatever it is I'm reviewing. It's a no bull crap, no hoodoo, voodoo. He said wetsuits, the scuba gear, whatever it is he's reviewing, there's no hoodoo voodoo. That's uh, all we have to watch in this video. Here just said, two years ago. So he gushes all over this thing. Maybe great, I don't know. But uh, let's pull up exhibit number two, your honor. Okay, let me pull up exhibit number two. All right. Uh, oh, this is good, guys. This is, this is the nugget that I can't believe I found, but I found. All right, so this video right here is Calabash uh, going through all of his uh, scuba gear, talking why it's good, why you good. He's, he's basically the, pulling the salesman, and you mentioned him earlier. He's getting into uh, reviewing that scuba gear, uh, BCDs, regulators, and everything else. So hold on. I, I bookmarked exactly uh, where. Ah, uh, no, this one I didn't. Hold on. Let me. Uh... Oh. Nah, I thought I bookmarked. I'll find it though. So he's he's going through the back of his truck and he's he's telling you why all the gear he has is the best and why it's the greatest. Oh, cool fancy bottle out. Uh, it's right about here somewhere. That one has a problem with it. Hold about twenty. There's power plant. Let me get one. Okay, so got my BC loaded. Love this BC man. I, it's a backplate wing hog. Okay, did you guys hear that? He loves this BC. It's a backplate wing hog. All right. 65 pounds. Paying attention that Calabash Digger just said he's getting into the scuba gear review game and he don't sell you nothing. But if I go to the Google machine here and I say, all right, Calabash Digger scuba. Well, let's scroll through. Oh, what do I got? Edge gear. What does edge gear sell? Edge Gear sells the hog. When we go to BCDs, Edge Gear sells the hog. The BCD that Calabash Digger just pimped on his channel. And the guy says, no hoodoo voodoo, I don't sell you nothing. But what do we got here? Calabash Digger is a dealer for the scuba gear company of the shit he's wearing. <laughs> so guess what, Calabash? There is hoodoo voodoo going on. <laughs> and if there's any doubt, this is our man, Calabash Digger. Uh, I don't know. This looks like it's like on the side of the highway. So uh, let's look here. So what do we got going on here? Yeah, so it, it, this, this map uh, says it's on the side of the highway. So let's, let's uh, pump Calabash Digger's uh, scuba store where he's selling his scuba Steve gear in there. Let's take a look. What do we got? The Calabash Digger scuba store. His no hoodoo voodoo scuba dealer store. Oh, wait, what's this? Let's, uh, 
Well, my God, there's Calabash Diggers Test Garden. <laughs> That's a whole lot of hoodoo voodoo going on. So Calabash Digger is a dealer for hog, highly optimized gear and edge extras. He pimps their shit in a bunch of videos. He's, I've seen every scuba video, he's pimping his hog gear. No hoodoo voodoo, except he's a dealer for hog. Mic drop, boom. So you're gonna tell me that this guy who's made it a point for years to say he never sells nothing. He's a trusted source, he never sells nothing. So here he is. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's admittedly said he's into the scuba game. Let's go back to that one. He is going to change that. Let's, let's recap that one more time. Hey, Having just watched that. that I have abused. Now, yeah, that's right. I dive in a rough environment, a very hostile environment. And this is probably a little bit different than what most divers do, or I know it's actually a lot different than what most divers do. But I'm going to show you a clip right here of the type of environment I'm in. All right, let's fast forward. Yeah, as you can see, it's muddy, silty, this is beautiful. and uh, this is going to be a no bull crap review. This is no bull crap, in the except I'm a dealer. World. A few people know who I am, but in the scuba world, not so many. But we're going to change that or attempt to change that. Oh. And this is what my channel is about. No what is it about? Crap. And this is exactly what you All do. kind of hoodoo, voodoo. Hoodoo, voodoo, fall out of his ass. So when you go to my channel with the scuba gear, metal detector, scuba wetsuits, whatever it is I'm reviewing, it's a no bullcrap, no hoodoo, voodoo going on here just to sell you something. I'm so, no bullcrap, no hoodoo, voodoo, nothing just to sell you something. But what does Calabash Digger do? Calabash Digger sells scuba gear. <laughs> so you be the judge. Uh, you think that uh, Calabash Digger is full of hoodoo, voodoo? Yeah, I got my opinion. Like I said, that whole uh, theory that... Uh, you know, if you're a liar in one regard, you're a liar in many. If you're a cheater, you'll cheat more. A dog that bites and gets a taste of blood will want to bite again. And Calabash Digger, if he's lying about uh, about not trying to sell you nothing, and here he is clearly a scuba dealer for the company whose stuff that he's pimping on his YouTube channel. Now tell me that the, he's not uh, making some sort of uh, <laughs> money on the back end. And, and it must make him really mad too, because I don't really, I don't really mention his test much. I did on that one video because it was clearly, uh, he, I clearly demonstrated how he was trying to tip the test. But other than that, I don't really call him out on that stuff because he, I, I like to drag him for, for, uh, for the words that he says and, and the standard that he sets to judge other people. I'm shining that, that light back on him and I'm judging him by those same standards. And by those same standards, <laughs> he's a shill and he's a liar because he's clearly a metal detecting dealer. Uh, as we can see by his test garden, which is right here. Anybody want a gold coin? Go get it, fellas. There's a gold coin back there. <laughs> uh, hey, I don't know. If I was a dealer, I wouldn't be using my, my uh, address as the, the dealer location. I don't know. Dude's a chump. What can I say? Um, but there you have it. Uh, so not to end this on uh, that kind of note, but uh, I wanted to to let you guys know that if you're interested, uh, I like uh, I like metal detecting forums, but uh, lately I, I don't like the one that I spend the most time on because half the time it's turned into the Calabash Digger show because one of his lackeys is allowed to, to run rampant there and post his garbage. So me and a couple other guys made our own uh, metal detecting forum. I've been blowing it out all day. My daughter's working on the graphics, and anyone that, that wants to join a, a no hoodoo voodoo metal detecting forum, please join. No pressure. You don't have to join if you don't want to. Uh, but one perk for anyone that joins is, like I told you guys before, I, I 3D print metal detecting accessories. Um, and I'll, if, for, if there's anyone that, that joins the forum and needs something printed for their legend, or I got a lot of stuff for the legend. Uh, got a nice finds box that plugs into the back of the legend. But for the price of shipping and simply the price of plastic, I get an amount out of my dealer like that that uh, that battery box that uh, connects to the back of the legend. Um, I think it's like a dollar. So a dollar for the battery box, and it's like $3 for shipping. I'll show it to you, too, on video. This one I didn't make myself, but I made, well, 
I, the idea wasn't mine, but I have my own, uh, I made my own version of it. I, I made some changes. So the original idea wasn't mine. Um, but if you're a, a legend user, uh, oh, come on. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, sorry, wrong thing. Uh, not, uh, this is really cool. I should have, uh, had one here, but I, and I made two of them and I just shipped both of them. Uh, here's some bumper plate too. Um, I've made my own version of the bumper plate. That was super easy, but, uh, see there's a pin pointer holder, but yeah, I make, I make so many different, uh, 3d printed Nocta macro legend, uh, holder. Uh, yeah, there it is. It looks like this. Uh, mine just has a lot more depth to it. I use this, the space and I lock it in the back. So, but just to give you an idea, it just plugs into the back of the, it plugs into the back of the, the, uh, knock the macro legend and except mine, the one that I made, it extends out and it locks into the, the place that the battery holder locks, but I have two versions, one that doesn't in case, uh, you don't want it to go that, that deep. Uh, so similar, my end cap's different too, but I make all kinds of uh, 3D printed metal detecting accessories. So if you join the, the forum or you're just a viewer here, you want anything 3D printed uh, for the price of plastic and the price of shipping. Uh, and I, I'll show you how much the plastic costs because the, the software that I use, like let's, let's, I'll show you, um, simplify 3D. You put your, uh, like here's a day stand. This is not mine, but uh, uh, this is mine. So like here's an XP Day two stand that I made because the XP Day two stand sucks. It's a it's a world class uh, uh, piece of crap. Uh, options and then we go to there's a place. Oh, I'm sorry, it's uh, in here. We go to other uh, advanced. Uh, oh, here we go. Filament price. It's actually sixteen ninety nine right now. And uh, sixteen ninety nine. I print this in two layers because uh, I I want certain parts to be very solid and certain parts to be lighter. Hit prepare to print, select all, and then it gives you a little readout. So this part right here is forty five cents. So it would be forty five cents plus the cost of shipping, which is like I think the most shipping is to California is like three dollars and eighty nine cents. So it's just an offer if you're a viewer here. So let me know. You know how to get a hold of me. Uh, 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 definitely in the forums, or uh, uh, I'll put my email here too. Right. And Proton. More than happy to hook anybody up with something they need. Um, but that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I was gonna like really drag it out, but uh, the best thing I could do is just really get right to it. Um, the other thing that was funny is, is is that I noticed, and a lot of people noticed too. Oh, there's my own video uh, showing up. Uh, check this out. I don't know if you ever noticed, but the reason why he needs the uh, the the reason why he needs the not the macro legend is uh, because if you look at his videos, so Calabash says he's not interested in in money. And I think with YouTube, there's some truth to that. Maybe one day he hopes to make money, but I, I don't know. I don't think he's motivated. He's, his ego is his currency. And when you look at his his views going back, like if you look at his detecting views, his detecting views, anything with him metal detecting in it, um, will will not even cap a thousand views. Um, it's his knock the macro legend. Like here we go, two two k views. Uh, this testing video actually doesn't have a legend on. So he did all right on that one. 2,000 views. Um, look, building a detailed 724 views for that. No one's interested in that. Um, here's another legend video, 1.8K views. So when you look at through his videos, you know, he needs a legend. He doesn't have any views. It's irrelevant. And I don't have any views either. But I never walk around bragging about this big this big channel that I have. Uh, he has so many times. He's, he's uh, boasted about. Uh, yeah, the drama I did notice. He does that a lot too. He 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 removes a lot of videos. Like if like the the one video I I have on my page, he he's taken out two of them uh, that I did voiceovers. Like when you go to my channel, um, uh, 
he's taken down this one and he's taken down this one. These two are both gone uh, that I referenced. He is a liar. He's a straight up liar. I called him out today. Tell everybody you know, point them to today's stream. That's why I don't want to make today's stream too big. Point, point them to today's stream. Uh, and yeah. Oh, I don't know. Did I? Uh, metals. I don't know if I showed you the, the website. So this is the forums that I made. My daughter's working on the graphics. Uh, it's all categor categorized pretty good. It's super modern, super secure. It's nothing like what everyone's using. It's super easy to upload pics and videos. It's just drag and drop for a lot of stuff. None of the, the, none of the, the like ancient forum technology with some of the other ones that, that are just painful to use. Um, you can sell your detectors there. Someone has a, uh, one of my buddies has his, uh, knocker macro simplex that just barely, barely used. Um, he was, he, uh, he didn't like the way the lower shaft was designed. He didn't want to buy a carbon fiber shaft. He was trying to mod it. He messed the middle shaft up with wireless headphones, 150 bucks. Um, he got that on there today. Uh, so yeah, $150 comes with everything. Uh, he used it, I think once for just a couple hours. Uh, I am tempted and he says he'd be open to work a swap on a five by eight coil for a Garrett AT series. Um, I'm actually thinking about grabbing it, 150 bucks because I have the tall man middle rod for the legend and, uh, I have an, an unused, uh, middle rod for the, 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 for the legend, which fits the simplex. But if someone here buys this and they need a middle rod, I'll send you mine for the price of shipping since it's not being used and I'll never use it cause I'm six foot, uh, almost five inches tall. But, uh, yeah, tell everybody, you know, like share, like, I don't care. I've never, ever told anybody like share this video, but we've clearly caught him in a lie. Tell everybody, you know, share the video, get it out there. Um, there's no way that he can live this down. And I guarantee that, uh, watch him come off of that dealer's website, uh, by tomorrow. He'll be gone. Mm, oh, well, it's a weekend. He'll be gone definitely by next week. But thanks for stopping by. James, I appreciate it. I appreciate the comments. Hey, Larry, I didn't get a chance to say hi. I, I didn't see you sneak in there. It's hard for me to, to figure out what's going on because uh, I got massive uh, squirrel syndrome. But thanks for stopping by, Larry. Thanks for stopping by, GW Cracker. Uh, Fun with Dirt, thanks for stopping by. And uh, James, thanks for stopping by again. I appreciate it, guys. I know you, you have like important stuff to spend your time. So the fact that you uh, – oh, Charlie, squirrel. Hey, squirrel. But the fact that you guys spend your precious time here watching this, um, I appreciate it. Uh, and that's why, like I said, I like to, to give back if I can. And my little way of giving back for spending your time to hang out with me is, uh, you know, three print you some stuff. Uh, but thanks, guys. Thanks, James. I'll, I'll keep knocking them out. Uh, appreciate it. Have a good night, guys. Later.